Assalamualaikum Salam Sejahtera, saya Syekh Zanjari dan ini Business Alternative. Hari ini kita akan bercakap mengenai uh, menjelang uh, acara TEDx yang akan diadakan di Kuala Lumpur buat kali kelima. Yes. Dan bersama saya tentunya iaitu founder atau pengasas TEDx KL sendiri, Saudara Daniel Svantes. Terima kasih kerana bersama kita. Alright. Okay, uh, this is the fifth time uh, yes. we're organizing TEDx in KL. Yeah. So so far, um, basic question, uh, your expectation for this year? Uh, so this is going to be quite uh, big. We're expecting about 1,800 people. Mm. Uh, last year was 850 people. Yes. So more than double. More than double. Mm. And uh, we we are fortunate to have a Mid Valley Convention Center. We secure the venue, so mm. there'll be. Uh, we can accommodate that size, so it's kind of be going to be exciting. We haven't done this piece size before. Of course, uh, when we talk about uh, that that talks, yeah, yeah? and uh, globally, it's very cool. You can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on yeah. on, on uh, your digital devices, you know, stream, yeah. uh, iTunes and stuff. So basically, um, it's all about inspiration, mm. and you link it to business. So first part of our uh, conversation here we're not, we're, we're going to talk about or discuss more about innovation and technology that had been spurred uh, thanks to that so in uh, when, when, you, when it comes to Kuala Lumpur or when it comes to Malaysia mm. how far have we how far have uh, has this uh, become uh, what I call how, how far have we reached this 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 what I call level uh, i think in for us uh, the quality the uh, we're trying to make an uh, event as close as possible to uh, the TED event itself. Mm. And I, I think last year we are about 10%. We're still very, very small mm. in terms of what we can do. And uh, this year we're trying to bring a lot more technology. So uh, we are showcasing actually uh, two Malaysian inventors who have invented really amazing stuff. Uh, one is essentially uh, a technology that enables uh, blind people to use smartphones. Okay, touch screen smartphones. Touch screen smartphones, <laughs> okay. yes. And the other one is actually a cancer research. It's a very early stage cancer research using something called a Newcastle uh, disease virus, uh, which is a Malaysian strain, uh, to go as a treatment for brain tumor. Mm. So basically, it's about um, spurring innovation yes. and and getting a lot more people to actually inspire to inspire people yeah. to you know to start to innovate. And uh, since four years ago, since the last four years, you know how you have been, how you seen this been. Uh, have, how have you been achieving this so far? So our main goal at the moment is always uh, we always want to uh, create an experience that local Malaysians can experience something like a, a TED like event. Uh, I was fortunate to actually attend. Uh, and the second thing, we want to act as a platform to highlight Malaysians who are doing really amazing stuff. And ev every year, we uh, we found a lot of uh, interesting Malaysians who are doing really amazing stuff, like uh, Asamat and uh, Cheryl, mm -hmm. Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Tan. Okay. Uh, they are doing something called the Malaysian Music Project, it's essentially highlighting music from uh, traditional music to the P. Ramli era to modern Malaysian music. Uh, so, so basically, with all these names, you know, uh, are they able to actually inspire more people to come and? You know? Yes, in fact, uh, every every year we bring back uh, some of our old speakers in, mm -hmm. so they will act as ambassadors, and uh, they are doing really amazing stuff. Like uh, Palf, who is with the Turtle Conservation Center, I think she was in our. Uh, third TEDx actually, mm -hmm. and uh, she's really a crowd favorite. People want to know more about how do they uh, help out with uh, the turtle conservation uh, efforts in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a lot of stuff that we tend to highlight that enables the audience to actually participate. And that is something we want to do. Mm -hmm. Basically, opening up channels for uh, audience to get involved in something. Mm -hmm. How about how about getting more people to be inspired? I, I think inspiration is just part of it. Uh, taking action is really ultimately the, that's, that's the key. Uh, going there, sitting down, listening there, you are inspired. But at the same time, there are the the opportunities where you talk to the speakers like, hey, how do I, how can I help you? How can I actually bring your cause forward? That is something that Pat does, and something that we also hold dearly. Uh, that that we enable, we are. We act as an aid, enabler for all these various causes or various uh, projects. Well, uh, of course, this is business alternative, and, and we will talk business here. Of course. Of course. And uh, imagine, yeah, 1,800 1, uh, participants. Uh, will you think there will be uh, startups or there will be more oh, yeah. business transactions? This is the, the audience is generally quite a mix every year. Right. And, uh, we, we don't know. But there is a bunch of startups that will be coming out. Uh, one of them is actually a Malaysian startup. There's a virtual 
showcasing a technology that they, a game that they wrote on a virtual reality goggle is okay. called Oculus Rift. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, it's a Malaysian design game that capitalized on one of the most advanced VR glasses around the world. Okay. Yeah. And there is the, the, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, cool stuff that we'll be showcasing around there. So basically, this is uh, a venue where you know invested, invest, in, in inventors, inventors, you know? entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, you know, would uh, actually come up and uh, showcase your stuff because uh, it's very difficult, yeah, for 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 young investors or young entrepreneurs, mm. new entrepreneurs, uh, to 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 get visibility. Yeah. Uh, so this is. Yeah, what? so we tend to find a way to highlight all these uh, yeah. various, various social causes, various yeah. entrepreneurs yeah. who, are, I mean, they're, they're Malaysians at the end of the day, they're Malaysians who are doing amazing things and uh, we believe that we can be a platform for them yeah. to actually showcase. You mentioned social causes, I'm yeah. very interested with that because uh, if you, because I watch a lot of TED yeah. uh, videos on YouTube and um, it's, it's very inspiring way where you can actually, uh, you know, uh, showcase your program and your ideas mm. on how to help other people. So we'll talk more about this after this. Massive Summer Business Alternative, but uh, social enterprising is one big part of that. You've talked yeah. about that that I've been watching on YouTube. Yeah. So uh, in Malaysia, what kind of projects that 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 will be introduced or that will be highlighted this year? Uh, this this year actually we are highlighting something a bit uh, uh, older older project. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, Epic Homes. Mm -hmm. uh, Epic Homes is actually started by Johnson Ui. Essentially, is uh, is uh, uh, he was our very first TEDx youth speaker. Uh -huh. Essentially, what they do is uh, they they actually bring uh, people urbanites to uh, rural areas to help uh, underprivileged people to build their house. So okay. build a kampung house mm -hmm. from scratch. Mm -hmm. So uh, this year he's actually running a small. Uh, sharing session actually outside of the hall. Uh, he's going to share with people how to build homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, how many we call speakers that, that that actually came up to you and say they're going to share their their social uh, we call social programs? Social programs. So uh, it, it, it depends. Uh, this year, this year we are highlighting about five of them. Getting so we will actually have a place uh, to get our participants uh, uh, to actually day, pledge to see how they can actually help out. Uh, namely, the third, uh, mentioned the Turtle Conservation mm -hmm. Center, uh, Extra Mile. Mm -hmm. Extra Mile essentially uh, they are doing a charity run. A hundred, this guy is doing a hundred k charity run. Okay. So he's teaching people how to run hundred k. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is quite. So, so, <laughs> so basically, okay, the one hundred. Uh, 1,800 participants that actually can come attend uh, in a seat, you, know, you watch or you, you listen to them and so later you, you can watch them for free. come yeah. and meet them and Yeah, you can, meet, you can just meet them and just uh, say like, hey, I want to support whatever you're doing. Uh, is there any way I can help out? So basically, what are the ways to, 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 to support? Uh, most besides financially? Besides financially, a lot of, a lot of this uh, organization, they need uh, people to volunteer or they need people to help to spread the message or something like that. So you have to talk to each of them because so each organization has very different needs. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them is financial, of course, but a lot of them is like, oh, I need someone to help me with uh, my admin work, or someone to help me with uh, uh, my accounting or marketing or community management or uh, project management and lot. So that's that's something that we are doing. So easy way to find a solution, yeah, for your manpower <laughs> is through events like this. It po possible, <laughs> but it's just really to get people to know, like, hey, is there something interesting? I like to go. I like to. I think I can actually offer my skill mm -hmm. to that. And uh, there are s uh, online solutions out mm -hmm. there to actually hire, to do this kind of matching, basically. Mm -hmm. it's because basically, we talk about um, youngsters in the in this era. Yeah. No, they like to help. Yeah, yeah they, they like, they like help. to lend hand. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, and uh, we 
you talk about future <coughs> events? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, this event is going to be held. This is on 3rd of August, which is uh, this, uh, this coming Saturday. Uh, in Kuala Lumpur. In Kuala Lumpur. And, 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 and uh, how do you foresee the future event? Uh, maybe next year? Uh, so we still have another uh, TEDx youth event in mm -hmm. November and TEDx women event in December. Mm -hmm. And next year, we haven't actually planned out where exactly because we need to still look for a venue to mm -hmm. do for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will we have to decide whether we want to keep this size or maybe go bigger mm -hmm. to see what is uh, comfortable. Whether at the end of the day, it's about the conversation between the participants mm -hmm. and how they talk to each other, what mm -hmm. they learn, and etc. If the event goes too big, it, mm -hmm. there might not be so intimate. So exactly. we work, yeah. So we are still looking at. Uh, what is the right scale for us? Mm -hmm. uh, some events, some type of events are huge. There are like uh, four thousand people, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll we'll see how we can what we can do. And then uh, because this is on a what we call international platform, yeah. yeah, you're using the same branding, and of course the uh, mode of the, uh, dissemination, the media is also the same. So I'm I'm really thinking of uh, getting Malaysian ideas out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how how does this being done? Uh, so for the, for every the single years? every single TED, uh, TEDx event we have to record uh, according to the TED guideline we have to record, upload it to YouTube and it's on Creative Commons, meaning uh, everyone can share it. So it's open to the public. Mm -hmm. So uh, like Yasmin Ahmad's video or uh, Joe Kukrata's video or even uh, there's a there's a physicist. Her name is uh, Dr. Eva. She's she's uh, she's Austrian but based in Malaysia. She is a physicist, a molecular physicist. Mm -hmm. Basically, going to the Malaysian jungle, studying about different ways of uh, plants or insect can reflect color, can produce color, eco-friendly colors, basically. Okay. So those talks are actually going around, and everyone around the world globally. Uh, globally. So basically, how would we gonna yeah. make it even more yeah. viral globally? Do, yeah. do, do, do you have any? Uh, we will try to encourage people to watch our, our videos, but at the at the end of the day, I think. Uh, we are always very hopeful uh, that w one day we can actually produce a higher quality video that Ted will actually highlight and that will be something that we are going to be... On doing. HD. Is it, this is going to be on HD as well, This right? is going to be HD this year. <laughs> so previous, previously we couldn't, uh, we couldn't uh, reach the standard yet. We couldn't afford the <laughs> price of HD. But this year, yes, we're going to record it over HD. All right. All the best, uh, Daniel. Thanks. And uh, Thank you, okay. hope to see you again. Thanks. And uh, I hope I have time to attend your event uh, in Kuala Lumpur very, very soon. Mm. So thank you for being with us today. Uh, dan itu saja business alternative pada hari ini. Dan uh, sebarang maklum balas, hantarkan ke uh, Facebook ataupun Twitter kami. Baiklah, saya Syamsan Jori. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.